So we are very excited to launch the YSU Center for Workforce Education and Innovation, which is going to bring together state-of-the-art excellence training centers, workforce education programming, and strategic initiatives to help the community here to help develop a new core of workers for the region. When we're looking at selecting project contractors here at Youngstown State as a public university, we have a bidding process that we're required to go through uh, the state of Ohio. And so we did that, and we were fortunate to have 10 companies bid on this construction project, which is a $12.1 million project at the Excellence Training Center. Brock Builders out of North Lima was the winning bid, uh, and they have done an amazing job on the Excellence Training Center project. It's been amazing. We've been on time, on target, on budget throughout this project. To be a part of it and have Brock Builders be a part of that project, uh, obviously they're making something by creating a $12 million beautiful facility, helping us get ready to help the Valley learn how to take advanced manufacturing and make something better. We've been very fortunate to partner with YSU on a number of projects recently. We were awarded this project through competitive bid process in spring of last year. We knew going in that this job was gonna have some unique challenges. We started this project off with uh, demolition of the existing Mahoney County uh, misdemeanor jail. Um, and as we were doing that, we started site work to prepare for the new addition. The process went pretty smooth using uh, members of the Western Reserve Building Trades and local union contractors. Lensing Masonry uh, was, was chosen for this project for a few reasons. We have a good relationship with Brock Builders. And also we've done a lot of work for YSU in the past and we have a good relationship with them as well. Brock Builders put together a very nice team, a team that everyone worked together meeting the schedule and the providing a, a quality product building for YSU. Timo was chosen on this project for two packages, with the roofing package and the siding package. Some of the beneficial aspects to a insulated metal wall panel system is the strength and durability. There's a lot of longevity built into this type of system, as well as the low maintenance and the energy efficiency, which made a lot of sense and selecting this type of material. So in this project, there really weren't a lot of challenges only because a lot of the trades here are members of the Builders Associations. And we have a lot of relationships that are already existing between each other. And we've worked on other projects with each other. And all the skilled tradesmen here are union workers. So they're trained, they've been in the trades for a long period of time, and the results are ultimately outstanding. So the challenges really have been minimal and it's been a very uh, smooth project in that respect. And specifically from Tima, you know, being that our team is also union and the roofers, Local 71, and the sheet metal, Local 33, you know, our men bring their A game every day and we're ready to make certain that we get the best results in this project. And it's been a, a really rewarding and, and uh, productive project for us. It was an exceptional opportunity for Diamond Steel and the fact that with our alliance with YSU as the end user, we've been a part of YSU and their footprint for many years. So for us to be involved in a project to help them extend their footprint when it came to the advanced manufacturing education or workforce facility training center, we thrived on that. And that was a big part of why we went aggressive at the job in the beginning, because we knew Brock was gonna be involved. We knew all the building trades we're gonna be involved. So for us to be involved in something like that, we took pride and honor in extending that footprint in the valley. So, I mean, that, that was our driving force, I believe, uh, to get the job in the first place. So it was a typical steel erection project for us. We started with the columns, you know, from the footings up. Uh, we did a lot of joist reinforcement. The columns were oversized for future expansion which if they ever would want to add a third floor or anything like that, they were designed in a fashion to be adequate enough to take on that expansion. We also put in majority of all of this steel deck, which was for the concrete second floor. The framing was somewhat unique in a fashion that it wasn't a 90 degree connection point. A lot of it was skewed at a 45 degree angle. For this, facility to be in Youngstown and for us how we depend on the people on the field as much as we do. To have an opportunity to grab people or have people trained out of this facility I feel that it's going to make us more valuable and make us more marketable to be able to bid certain jobs. 
so we could be successful, profitable, and uh, overall make the end user happy. You know, as you think about history, the only thing constant is change. When this part of the world started to be developed, it was an agricultural center. Then it became an industrial center uh, with steel, you know, really being the, the forefront. Then the evolution became really in the internal combustion engine, GM, and the supply chain around it became a big part of, of uh, our manufacturing. And now as you look at uh, advanced manufacturing, what you're looking at is advanced ways to do the same things. Wait until you see that facility, whether it be the whole robotics laboratory, which is giant, all the way to the foundry, to the 3D printing, uh, to industrial maintenance, to CNC machining, stamping, launch labs of their own. It's really going to be a spectacular facility.